hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how i turned this spare bedroom into this movie theater during this video i'll show you the before and of course this is the after but i wanted to show you different ways where you can save money where i was kind of impatient that i spent more than what i should have um so just stay tuned and i'll show you like how i came up with this concept and different ways that i did save money Part one of the DIY movie theater is I needed a spare bedroom. So we have this like spare room. I actually call it a storage room because we stored so much stuff in this room. Like no one ever really slept in this room or anything like that. It was like a storage room. And so we had like three sets of like mattresses. We had like mini fridges, just a bunch of stuff that needed a home that couldn't find a home. So we put it in here. Um, so this room did have um, two windows, had like an old AC, just like a lot of stuff that we made a lot of changes on. So I just kind of wanted to give you like a quick view of what the room looked like prior to the renovation. Because the next clip that you'll see is the room is actually completely done. Um, and I will just kind of walk you through all the changes that we made through it. So from the blue room to the movie theater so in these next few clips um i will kind of explain and walk you through um the different changes that we made from the blue room and where we went with it overall i'm about 93 95 percent complete there's still a few items that i need to get or decide what i wanted to do with it and i'm still just waiting overall on a few items to come into the mail first up we'll do this back wall so you remember in the blue room we had that window that had an AC unit so of course we sealed that off and we made this projector screen out of two by four um, so first we have to make the frame so we made the frame I painted it white because I didn't want the brown of the wood to see through on the uh, the white screen so basically after I painted it um, of course we let it dry and then we went ahead and stapled the back of it this is a two-man job so this was like a daddy daughter DIY project me and him did it everything all together um, so after we stapled it I did go on Amazon and I purchased the felt to go around it um, I felt like the felt made it look so much better with the little black screen um, of course you can purchase them different type of ways overall I do like it the photos at the bottom or pictures I purchased those from the at-home store um, one was like $14 other one was like $19 overall I, I was gonna leave it blank but I really wanted something down there at the bottom and it, it actually looked really good um, so I am really happy with how this wall turned out. The lights at the bottom I purchased from Walmart for $4. It was like one of the best investments um, because I'll show you a little bit later. I had another lights that I purchased for like $15 and they're not as good as these. So I would recommend if you're buying lights, get them from Walmart for $5. <laughs> it's actually a really good steal. So I actually really do like those. Yeah, so with the lights, they do change uh, different colors. Um, you can make them uh, flash if you want. They're actually really, really nice um, lights. So with this back wall right here is going to be the columns. So the columns was my biggest issue. I really wanted to buy some columns, but with um, we're in quarantine, we had to be creative. So basically, we just kind of went and got like a sheet of plywood and we just kind of cut it measured it out and we just kind of painted it you know and i purchased this light from amazon for 15 dollars. they're sensor lights and when you walk close when you walk into the room they pop on so i actually really do like um how it looks when i did finally found some columns they were like a hundred and like 69 from amazon and i was like i think i'm good with this um it was just like a creative way to kind of have a little pop of color in a room that's so dark. Um, the posters I purchased from allposters.com. It took about a month 
for the posters to come and I had I pr ordered about eight posters and it took a while for them to come so if you're ordering posters just know they're gonna take a while I saw somewhere where they said you can order for Amazon you get them a little quicker so either pick and choose to see which one you feel is best for you um, so the next thing is going to be my popcorn machine so I was going back and forth with purchasing a microwave or going with the popcorn machine I went ahead with the popcorn machine because I end up getting a coupon from Home Depot and I wound up using this um, Home Depot had this for like $25 and I end up using that coupon so I saved a little bit of cash so I end up doing that um, this tray snack tray I, I purchased from Amazon for $19 um, this cabinet I got from Amazon as well, but Amazon, Walmart, and Wayfair have a, sells them all. Amazon had it cheaper for like five extra dollars, so I went ahead and uh, purchased it from there. The one thing about it, I did not set it up how it looks. I'll put a picture in how it's supposed to look. You're supposed to have a wine um like cellar right here i actually took that out so i can put the um drink machine in there i don't drink or anything like that so i'm sold in water um if i if you do decide to do that make sure you have something to support the bottom so i end up putting um some wood at the bottom to be able to support all the like the microwave and refrigerator everything that we have in there um the little popcorn packets i got from sam's club um I like it. I like them a lot. I've popped them. They're easy. You just oh, pop them in there and it works out. The little bags. Um, there's only 10 of them. I got from uh, Walmart. And then when you pull this out, you can keep your drinks in there. I keep like my extra snacks, um, paper towels, etc. Overall, I like this whole cabinet and how I took everything out. Um, the There's a light that I put inside the camera those are the on the cabinet those are the ones that was like fifteen dollars that was not worth it <laughs> this extra window we we um sealed it off and there's like there's nothing behind that but like some like the the wood we put but i wanted to put like a black curtain there um but they don't sell black curtains i have to order it and it was taking so long to get it so i went to home depot and purchased that so it's another column that we made. Um, we made about four columns all together. We still have some extra columns. I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, Wayfair is where I purchased these three chairs from. I got a really good deal on these chairs. They were on sale for $500 for all three of these chairs. And I was like, really? And I ended up getting a rebate. It was like 10% back like that day only so i end up getting back money so i wind up paying like 400 something dollars with like shipping um for these chairs i actually really like the chairs um they recline and they recline back further when you you can lay back with them so overall they look pretty good if you go on the website right now i looked it was like thirteen hundred dollars for these exact same chairs and i went up end up getting it for like four hundred dollars and i'm like that's crazy <laughs> carpet was my most expensive item in this whole entire room i spent like 650 it was so hard to find like this dark carpet um and i only had like two options considering of where i was at so that's a whole different story um so like i said i'm at 93 percent, maybe 95 when i first started off we installed the projector on the ceiling. I didn't really like it on the ceiling. Um, so we took it down <laughs> and I put it back on there. I may move it back up there. It just really just depends. Um, the cord is pretty short on it. And I don't really know. I think I really like it sitting right there. Um, just because I have so much stuff that I need to um, hook up to it. So I don't know, it just really depends. I'm still in limbo about it. Um, on the ceiling, I have the little stars uh, that lights up when you turn the lights off. Um, the track light I got from Lowe's. I saw some really bad reviews on the track lights, 
but there was the people saying that the lights wasn't working for us they weren't working either i realized there was a trick you have to slide it on versus pop them in on the video it tells you you need to pop them in but you need to slide them on and they work um and then so this is my back side of the wall i'm still waiting for my curtains to come they came today they're velvet curtains um but i'm waiting for this the track um to come in because you can't use just like a regular um track but overall i really do like the way that it turned out overall this project always give me great joy just because i get to spend time with my dad when we get to do um things like this um a word of advice if you're going to do remodeling of any kind budget 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 um this is about even the seventh or eighth room me and my dad has renovated and i'm terrible at budgeting and i would say with this room i end up spending right at like 31 hundred dollars so right at three thousand dollars um for this room and that's with everything included there's a lot of items that i know i can save money on like i had not got a cheaper little mini fridge the carpet um the posters like different little things that i know is there to saved on so but i would just tell you just make sure you budget um but just overall i do love the room so so much um i do thank you guys for watching please comment like and subscribe bye